Matthias, thanks so much for joining us. Hey, Keith, good to see you. Yeah, I'm excited to talk to you because we're going to talk about iBot, which we did a podcast interview back in February where we talked about your background story, a lot about iBot and some general advice questions. So I'm going to include a link to that uh, in this video, but I want to bring everyone up to speed on what's been happening at iBot. So if someone's not familiar with the company, what is iBot? Yeah, uh, thanks for having me again. Uh, yeah, it's certainly a very exciting time right now. Uh, so much happening at iBot. Um, yeah, so what is iBot? So iBot, we essentially automate vision testing uh, to uh, get your eyes checked very quickly. Uh, so in a matter of seconds, so it takes about just 90 seconds uh, for somebody to walk up to an iBot station. Uh, it's basically these, um, uh, we, we call them kiosks, but um, it's about a five foot tall kiosk. You walk up, uh, you follow some instructions, and you go through a battery of tests in just about 90 seconds. Uh, and we can essentially, if you qualify, get to an eyeglass prescription uh, through um, teledoctors that are in our network, uh, as well as also information uh, that can be collected to screen for certain types of diseases in the future uh, that can be, you know, uh, that you should know about. And actually what, what we discovered uh, in our trials that we had uh, have out in public uh, is that there's just an, a large amount of people walking around not knowing what's going on with their eyes and also a lot, a lot of people walking around uh, not seeing well because they don't have glasses. And uh, there's just a massive opportunity to solve that problem. And what I love about it is this is real. It's in market. <laughs> so talk about like use cases, like customers or whatever you can share. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we can't share too much right now, uh, but um, I, what I will say is that we are uh, have some really exciting launches coming up uh, in the coming months, and uh, yeah, the you know you'll you'll see it in the news, uh, but uh, really we're uh, looking to expand uh, in both enterprise, mid market, all the way through SMB. Uh, it's really the the problem in the industry that the, is that there's a lack of doctors, and uh, that is true for. The biggest uh, companies in the world, all the way down to the mom and pop stores. Um, if they, uh, if you have an eyeglass uh, retail store, um, that can be a traditional four wall store. That can be uh, a more novel concept. Uh, you, there's simply not enough doctors uh, in the country to supply all these all these stores. Uh, in fact, over fifty percent of stores uh, are struggling or don't have a doc to, uh, to find a doctor or can't find a doctor. And so that's really where iBot comes in. And so we can really even out and, 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 and supplement all those locations with iBot technology so that eventually you can just walk into an iGlass store, push a button and get your glasses. That's amazing. All right. So what's the latest at the company? Yeah. So we uh, also recently raised a new round uh, with a fantastic partner. Um, and uh, so it's a you know $20 million raise uh, for our Series A. So that's really exciting. Uh, really comes piggybacks off of uh, a lot of we would you know that's just sort of this mystical idea of product market fit and what is that and when do you hit that uh, we do feel that that moment uh, happened to us I would say around January February coming hot off of CES which was a blowout uh, and really everything from then on it was practically all our sales are or inbound at this point. Um, and we're getting inbound from not only US, uh, from the biggest uh, corporations, but also from SMB, but also international. Uh, it is the same problem internationally as well, that uh, if you wanna uh, you know, do optical retail, uh, you need to have a way to get to a prescription. And there's just a human labor shortage. It's not just doctors, but all the other store staff, uh, not only US, but world, like worldwide is there massive shortage. And uh, that's where iBot can help and step in. All right. So what's the plans in terms of hiring? Yeah. So we have a pretty ag aggressive hiring schedule. Uh, and, uh, you know, we actually, we just uh, had five more people start yesterday uh, on Monday, actually. And uh, so that's the kind of pace we're going at right now. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're looking for the, the brightest and best in Boston. And it's exciting to be, you know, part of the Boston tech uh, ecosystem here. Is it across all functional areas, like engineering, mechanical, sales? Everything, yes. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, so what's the culture like? What's the day-to-day -day culture like working at iBot? Yeah, so we have, uh, very, we have a very friendly but focused uh, culture. 
uh, one thing that we optimize for is, you know, we we work hard, but we we spend a lot of time together, and we want to make sure that you know our personalities also fit. And that is really important to us culturally. Um, we have a uh, really three things that we look out for. One is at iBot, uh, you will always have uh, your, your opinion and your ideas matter equally. Doesn't matter what your title is, what your rank is. Uh, everybody's opinion matters, and nobody will, be sh- will get shut down about voicing a concern or saying, "Hey, this UI could be better in this way," or like this, uh, this part of the test could be more like this, or the way we communicate uh, through marketing could be done, uh, you know, should be better. But you always have to come back with a solution. So that's kind of part of our culture. You can't, you know, you can always uh, say that this needs to be improved, but you always have to come up with an idea. Uh, two is that we always allow anyone to ask questions as much as they want. Uh, there's sort of like an unlimited question policy that you can ask, you can ask the same question five times in a row. And um, there's no punishment there because we want to really get to the bottom of, you know, of things. Um, and uh, the third one is that and this is one more, the more important ones to us is no egos. So you can leave your ego at home. We hire uh, people with, you know, it doesn't matter if you have a college degree or not. We hire PhDs. We hire across the board. Um, pedigree and school does not matter to us so much. What matters to us is what have you built in the past? And can you be equally awesome doing that at iBot? And that's what we look for. And also, yeah, leave your ego at home because we're all humble people and we just love working together. All right, so top tier talent, they always have options in front of them as far as different opportunities that they could explore. So why is now the ideal time to join iBot? Yeah, we're going through a really interesting growth phase right now. And uh, certainly, uh, you know, coming hot off of a great Series A, uh, it's usually a good time to enter a company uh, because there is, you know, a good projection of growth that can also mean a lot with equity. Uh, And... Yeah, there's just so much to do. And especially at this stage, typically what happens in my past experiences at startups is uh, this is a po- point where you you know do six months of a very specific uh, task we were hired for. But then after that, there's so much opportunity to grow in the direction that you want to because there's so many problems to solve. Um, and we give people very quickly and very early on uh, a lot of responsibility right away. All right. So this is a company that I am deeply excited about. I do believe this is going to be an anchor tech company in the Boston tech scene. It's got everything. They've got fresh funding, a revolutionary idea, a great team. They're in market. It's got everything here. And this is the prime opportunity to join the company. So go to their company page on VentureFizz, which has all their job listings. Go to VentureFizz.com slash iBot, and you'll find all their listings there. Matthias, thanks so much for taking the time to walk us through all the details on iBot. Thank you, Keith.